Hey guys, Shawnee here. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. Today, I want to share with you, um, in an effort to take off some of the pressure, I just want to share with you 13 things that I don't do as a homeschool mom. Call me a slacker, call me a lackey, call me whatever you want, but if you do these things, it's just going to put more pressure on you. So as you're starting out, maybe skip some and it's okay. It's so easy to find so many resources about homeschooling right now. Everyone's sharing and everyone's sharing with you what they do. Please, when you are finding these resources, take them all with a grain of salt. It's highly unlikely that these families started out doing all of these things. So from a mama who is trying to keep it realistic here, I am telling you that these are the things that I skip. And I don't even feel bad about it, okay? So I just wanna give you that little bit of boost, that little bit of affirmation that it is okay if you skip it too because your kids aren't gonna be any less schooled. They're not gonna be any less loved. It doesn't um, get you a better grade as a homeschool parent if you do these things. And I am a shameless slacker when it comes to these 13 things. So let's jump into it. Before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. So, Number one on my list of things I do not do. I do not have a homeschool room. Uh, technically, we probably have plenty of space in our house, but I don't see the need for that. I like to have my kids in a common area. Um, we like to be in the main family area, having them kind of tucked away in a different room. I don't like that. Because of that, I don't have a Pinterest worthy setup. I don't have laminated posters all over the walls and uh, fancy window hangings and a giant calendar we look at. I don't have any of that. Everything that they use for their schoolwork can be put away and that's the way I like it because it's in our main space, okay? Their playroom, we probably could use part of that, but I mean, they're young. We probably will eventually when they're doing middle school and high school or have desks set up in their room. But for right now, that doesn't serve us. That doesn't serve our purpose. They're young, they're little, they need toys. That's more important to me. Um, and I like putting the schoolwork away. Being somebody who works from home, if you see all of your work stuff out all the time, it can be really stressful. So I like putting it away. Um, you know, would I like to have things that are gorgeous and worth every pretty picture on, on Pinterest or on Instagram? Sure. Is that the way I'm gonna roll? Not even a little bit. I'm okay with it. Number two, things I do not do. I do not replicate a school day. Guys, you do not have to have eight hours planned out for your kids so that you can feel like they got more educated. No, do not do that to yourself. Whew, I'm tired just thinking about it. Um, especially right now, guys, if you're seeing these, uh, these schedules of the, uh, the virtual schoolers and every little minute is planned out all day long. Oh, I feel so bad for them. That is not a thing I'm going to do. Not now, not ever. I'm all about doing the most I can in the least amount of time. So having eight hours devoted to this is not going to happen in my house. It's just not. And that brings me right on to the number three thing that I don't do. I do not stand right next to my kids and hold their hand for their schoolwork. I don't waste my time doing it. And yes, I think it's a waste of my time to do that, okay? If they were in public school, their teacher wouldn't do it either. There'd be 30 kids. We go through, we have about an hour and 15, hour and a half minutes every day of what they need help with mom. So the lesson, the things they need to know. When it comes to workbooks, worksheets, um, anything that they know how to do on their own, 
I walk away. There is no point for me to waste my time looking over their shoulder or holding their hand. They know where to find me if they need help. I absolutely check their work, but there is no point in my opinion to stand right there while they do it. That wastes my time. I can be doing anything else. Number four of those wonderful homeschool things that you will see on the internet that this chick does not do. I do not have one of those uh, very pretty planners. I do not sponsor any planners. I do not uh, partner with any planner companies. I don't write it out. I'm not gonna film it. It ain't cute. If you guys saw our, um, our daily schedule video, which I'll link right up here, you saw my planner looks like markers were tied to a chicken and it was released on the paper. I am a scratch paper kind of gal. Uh, if you're a pretty planner person, that's great. I hope that works for you. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna put the energy or stress about the fact I don't do it. It's just, it's not gonna happen. And I am super okay with that. Please don't feel bad if it's also not gonna happen for you. If it does happen for you, great. It probably helps a ton but I'm not losing sleep over the fact it's not working for me. Number five of things I don't do, and this one is simply because I don't have to. You guys know we're in Texas. Texas homeschool laws are like small. I mean, I think the only thing you actually have to do to qualify to homeschool is to have some sort of curriculum, which literally could be anything. Um, so I don't do these things because I do not have to, according to my state's homeschool laws. I do not keep records. Um, I know what we've done. I know what she's completed. I know what she knows and what she doesn't know, but I do not have to keep grades and I don't have to keep attendance or log any hours. I don't do any of that. I recognize that I will um, as she gets older in order to receive like proper credit on her transcript and things like that when she's applying to colleges, but Texas doesn't make me do it, so I don't because that's a waste of my effort in absolute honesty. Um, and we have done schoolwork right on the couch during strep throat. Uh, we have done a lot of things like she wouldn't normally have been in school. But as far as taking grades, taking attendance, logging those hours, I don't do it. Literally because no one is making me. Number six on things I do not do as a homeschool mom. I do not make regular trips to the library. Even before everything was shut down for COVID, I didn't do it. And that is because I just can't keep up with the schedule of doing it. Like I'm doing good to check out books and then get them back in the two weeks or three weeks or however many days it is. So if I committed to a regular trip, I don't think that that would work out for me. Number seven, things I don't do as a homeschool mommy. I don't do morning baskets. I kind of get the point like to warm everybody up for the day or to go ahead and cover like your group subjects. And we do group subjects and we do group readings and things like that. But I do not have like this gorgeous basket full of all these books that I'm theming out for seasons. I just, I, I'm not doing that. I just, that's so much more work than I feel like it's worth. And we do those things. We do theme crafts and we do those things I'm just not doing it every day and I'm not sticking it in a pretty basket. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just, I, I'm not doing morning baskets. I'm not. The end result in my house is probably the same, but I'm not sticking it in the basket. Number eight things I'm not doing is co-ops. Um, you know, secular homeschoolers, it's hard to find secular groups at all. I, I don't do co-ops. I don't do any kind of like membership group. I have yet to find one that I like. Um, some of the better ones in our area that were recommended to me actually require a statement of faith and a home visit. Your statement of faith, you actually sign off agreeing that marriage is between one biological man and one biological woman. Um, 
And I don't believe that. So I'm not gonna say I do just to go on the fun field trips. That's not a thing I'm gonna do. Um, and I, I don't necessarily agree at all with the fact that the husband is the head of the household and the path to God. I'm not gonna tell my daughters that. I'm a little too uh, women's lib for this business. I totally believe in God. I totally believe in Jesus. However, I don't see how either one of those things comes into play when educating my child. I just don't. I'm secular homeschooler for a reason and I'm not gonna join a co-op that one, teaches my kids something different than I would teach at home, or two, is teaching something I can't fully justify why they didn't have a hand in doing anyway. So, I just, I don't co-op, I don't member group. Also, being on a schedule and committing to something is not something I like to do. I don't wanna tell you I'm gonna be there every Tuesday at 10 a.m. because then I feel really trapped and locked in, and I like the freedom of homeschooling. Special field trips, things like that, by all means. Do we have friends that we get together with? Yes. Do we have friends that have different views that we get together with? Absolutely. I'm just not signing a paper about it, paying a fee for it, or doing it on a regular basis. Just not gonna do it, nope. Number nine, and I, I think we would like this very much, but I think it comes back to my whole like sticking on a schedule, like freedom-y thing. Uh, we don't do nature walks or nature journaling. Like I'm not out doing that every day. Again, we've done these things um, as it came up. We've done these things as fun extras, but the whole like committing that I'm gonna do it all the time regularly is not something that's gonna happen. I am gonna focus on the course and then all the extra fun stuff. I wanna do because it's extra and fun, not because I've made it another responsibility. <sighs> This right into number 10, guys, and they're all the rage right now. Poetry tea time. And let me tell you, we have tea parties in my house like oh, once a week because we've got two little princesses. And this may change as the girls get older and they really want to start to have a serious appreciation for poetry. But right now we're reading poetry for fun. We're not trying to psychoanalyze every little thing that happens in a poem. We are enjoying it. We're learning about how it's rhyming words. So yes, we cover poetry. Have I got like a whole themed thing going on, poetry tea time? No. Are we inviting people over to join in our poetry tea time? No, we're not. I mean, we're gonna learn poetry, it's gonna be great. And, and some of this stuff might change as they're older, but for right now, mm -mm, not doing it. No poetry tea time, so sorry. Number 11, and you could probably guess if you made it this far in the video. All the things I don't do as a homeschool mom. I'm not super strict on our schedule, y'all. We, I have a plan, I have a schedule, and it's a goal. Uh, I know what I, I wanna do and how I want my day to go, but I'm not super strict about it starting on time. I'm just not. If it takes an extra five minutes because they naturally woke up, yes, please, let's do that. If they wanna do one more thing before they get ready, sure. If they wanna take a few minutes to put on their sparkly eyeshadow and some extra lip gloss because they're dressed like a princess today, girl, on. Yes, let's do that. I'm just not super strict about it. It's not worth my time and energy or fighting. It's just not. Um, okay, number 12. And this is where it gets kind of heavy, y'all. I don't compare. Um, I have yet to meet anybody or find anyone who homeschools the way I do, and so that probably makes it a lot easier. I kind of think that if I was in public school, I would be the crazy person who was super comparing all the time, so I'm kind of glad we don't do that. Uh, but I don't compare. We've got some really great close friends and one of their daughters is the same age as Amelia in the same grade. Guess what? They have a totally different path than we have and that's great. I'm not sitting there going, okay, what can they do? Oh, check, check, check. We can do that too. I'm not about that life. I don't want to lose sleep over that. I do not want that little, little green monster of envy hanging on my shoulder. Don't do it. We do not compare. I say that. We do kind of in the sense that I like to know what's going on in the public school to make sure we're on track. So in that way, we, I guess I kind of do, but not uh, for the reasons of making sure my kid is better or ahead or any of that. Just on par with her public school counterparts is handy to know. Uh, okay, now the number 13 thing that I don't do as a homeschool mom, and let me tell you, if you're new, you're not there yet. This one just comes with time and with experience. Guys, I don't stress. 
We're gonna get there. We'll get there in the end and it's fine. There's no reason to freak out about any of this. If today all you can do is one math lesson, good day, call it done. If today you are winning by taking a day off and going to the zoo, still learning, you will learn as you homeschool, as you start to be heavily involved in your child's learning experience, that they are learning all the time. You are teaching all the time. And some days that'll come from a book and other days it'll come from the zoo. And one day after that, it might come from a restaurant menu. Guess what? That's okay. They'll learn doing chores. They will learn everywhere because it's their kids. And that's what they do. You will teach everywhere because you are a parent and that's what you do. There is no need to stress. And I know that you're not going to take that to heart because we all do. It's so natural. I have the gift and the wonderful blessing of time having done this and experience. Trust me, you'll get there. Maybe not today, maybe not this year, maybe not next year. There will come a time when this is not the scariest thing you've ever done when you have a little bit of security around the thought of doing it. I promise you'll get to the point where you don't stress or at least not as much because we're parents and that's just what we do. But have faith in knowing at some point it gets a little less stressful. You'll have some confidence in those decisions that you're making. So if you found any of this helpful, entertaining, informative, or simply just an inspiration to not feel crummy about the things you're not doing as a homeschool parent that you're seeing trending and seeing all the other people doing. Please, please, please know this is your safe space. I am all about less waste, less work, getting more done. So please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments, what don't you do? What makes you a very proud, very happy homeschool slacking mom? Cause these things, I don't even have any shame about y'all. None shame.